Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the series, The Protector, released in the year 2018. The episode begins with a gun pointing at Hakan, the main character of the series. A slow-moving bullet flies directly towards his forehead, but we're not sure whether the bullet hits him. The scene then flashes back to the past and we're formally introduced to Hakan and his friend Memo, who live together. As Hakan's phone alarm blares continuously, he lazily wakes up and turns off the phone. Hakan stretches for a while and wakes Memo, who's sleeping on the couch. After the two freshen up and have some breakfast, they go to a place where they dream of opening a shop. However, they have not yet purchased the place as they currently lack money. Hakan and Memo peep through a glass window of the shop and talk about how they will decorate it. Just then, Memo notices that their future shop is right next to a billionaire, Faisal Erdem's business empire, Kavadin Holding. The following scene shows Hakan running into his neighbors and friends while he goes through many streets, markets, and corner shops to visit his dad, Neset Korkmaz. While in the street, Hakan meets a fortune teller, Turkon, who tells him that his future is about to change soon and he's destined to do something big, something different. However, Hakan dismisses the fortune teller's prediction as he doesn't believe in destiny. Soon after, Hakan arrives at his dad's place. It is later revealed that Hakan is an orphan who was adopted by Mr. Korkmaz. He playfully greets Mr. Korkmaz, who owns a 600-year-old shop, which sells antique pieces and handicrafts. Hakan tells his dad about his plan to open a shop, but the latter mocks him, mentioning about his previously failed businesses. Hakan tries to convince his dad about the plan by telling him that the shop is a brand new store and is in a wonderful spot, but Mr. Korkmaz ignores him. Instead, he tells his son to deliver a carpet to a tourist girl's place, who had ordered it the day before. In the next scene, we're introduced to Faisal Erdem, the billionaire who has worked his way from the bottom to become the person he is today. As Mr. Erdem boards off his helicopter, he's assisted by his general coordinator, Layla, and chief of security crew, Mazar. Layla informs her boss that he must attend to the press to discuss the Hagia Sophia tender. Hagia Sophia is an esteemed heritage in Istanbul, which had been around for 1,500 years, so many businesses are bidding for the heritage considering its unmeasurable value. At the press meet, Mr. Erdem talks about how Hagia Sophia is the heart of Istanbul and shares his plans to restore it by winning the bidding process. In the meantime, Mr. Erdem and his team come across Gokhan Gultekin, another bidder for Hagia Sophia. They exchange greetings and wish each other luck for the bidding process. In the next scene, Hakan delivers the carpet to the tourist girl who happens to be temporarily living at a hotel in Kavadin Holding. After finishing his job, Hakan notices a long line at the lounge area. He asks a man regarding the line, which turns out to be for a job interview for Mr. Erdem's company. As Hakan desperately needs money, he immediately signs up for the job. Hakan has an interesting conversation at the job interview with Layla. Sadly, as Hakan doesn't have a college degree, nor can he speak any foreign language, Layla asks him to chase his luck in getting a job elsewhere. Hearing this, Hakan leaves the place. But as he's returning, he sees a small girl who's nearly hit by a falling chandelier. Hakan immediately rushes to save the girl, while Mr. Erdem and his chief of security, Mazar, observe Hakan's heroic deed. Later, as Hakan is again trying to convince his dad about his business plan, a woman named Susan comes to the shop looking for a rare piece of talismanic shirt from the Ottomans. She urges that the shirt is for her special client and proposes to pay a hefty amount of money if needed. Mr. Korkmaz lies about not having the piece, although he has it tucked away in his cellar. Hakan insists his dad sell the shirt, but Mr. Korkmaz doesn't listen. Soon after, Memo comes looking for Hakan to inform him that they've been kicked out of their house, as they couldn't pay the rent. It turns out that Memo had gambled the rent money which Hakan had left on the table the other day. In the evening, Gokhan Gultekin takes Mazar to a secret hiding place in his car. He then tries to bribe Mazar in return for sidelining Mr. Erdem from the bidding process. Upon hearing this, Mazar kills his boss's rival with a string. As Hakan and Memo are bankrupt from their failed businesses, they decide to steal the rare shirt from Mr. Korkmaz's shop and sell it to Susan. Later, Hakan and Memo meet Susan at a restaurant to negotiate the price. Here, it's revealed that the shirt is worth seven figures, and the client Susan is dealing on behalf of is none other than Mazar. 
As they're talking, Mr. Korkmaz arrives at the place, takes the shirt away from Hakon, and says it is not for sale. Just then, Mazar has his people shoot up the place, thus leaving several bullet wounds on Hakon's dad. Hakon tries to take his dad to the hospital, but Mr. Korkmaz insists on taking him to his friend's pharmacy. There, Hakan meets pharmacy owner Kamal and his daughter, Zainab. Kamal immediately takes in Mr. Korkmaz for treatment, while Zainab tries to console Hakan. In the meantime, Memo is captured by Mazar's accomplice, Tekken. Tekken and his gang torture Memo for information on Hakan and his rare shirt. Back at the pharmacy, Zainab takes Hakan through a secret place where Kamal is treating his dad. Hakan is furious at Kamal for not taking his dad to the hospital. However, Mr. Korkmaz tells his son that it's too late now, and that he should stick with Kamal and Zainab, who will reveal all the truth. He further advises Hakan to believe in his power, which is his destiny. Saying this much, he passes away, leaving Hakan devastated. Sometime later, Kamal formally introduces himself and his daughter to Hakan as the Loyal Ones, who are responsible for protecting Hakan and his rare shirt. Zainab further discloses that Hakan is the Protector, whose duty is to stop the Immortals. Immortals are evil shapeshifters who wish to destroy Istanbul and the entire world. Hakan goes insane upon hearing the truth, but he still doesn't believe it. Kamal then talks him into wearing the shirt to prove to him about the Protector. After Hakan wears the prized rare piece, his body starts to observe the shirt, leaving the mark of the Protector on his chest. Zainab then fires a bullet towards Hakan to test whether or not the bullet affects him. It turns out this is the same scene that we see at the start of the episode. The bullet bounces off Hakan's forehead, proving him to be the protector. In the next scene, Kamal gives Hakan a quick history lesson about the origins of the immortal versus protector battle. We are then introduced to Mehmed the Conqueror, who is devoted to saving Istanbul from seven immortals. One night, Mehmed finds a way to identify and kill the Immortals, who look just like humans. He finds three things that can help in the battle. The first one is a virtue ring that glows when it comes in contact with an Immortal. The second is a special dagger that can kill the Immortal. And the last is a shirt that serves as an armor, blessed by holy prayer. Mehmed chooses one of Hakan's descendants as the protector to lead the battle against the Immortals because of his skills, power, and pure heart. Meanwhile, Hakan starts getting sick as the shirt unbalances his mental and physical state. He still doesn't believe the story about protectors and immortals, and thinks Kamal and his daughter have drugged him. On the other hand, Tekken and his boys try hard to get the information out of Memo. Back at Kamal and Zainab's place, the father-daughter duo worries Hakan is untrained and is not ready to fight the immortals, so they plan to train him. However, Hakan escapes the place and returns to his apartment. There, he finds out that Tekken has been asking about him around the neighborhood. Panicked, Hakan sneaks into his room, hoping that Memo might be there, but fails to find him. Right then, Hakan notices a strange box, where he finds a gun and an old photo of Kamal, Neset, and another guy named Murat, taken back in 1989. Meanwhile, Zainab comes looking for Hakan at his place. As they're talking, Tekken messages Hakan to meet at Sultanahmet Square through Memo's phone. Thinking that Memo has called for him, Hakan goes to the square along with Zainab. In the next scene, Kamal goes to see Susan at the hospital to ask about her client who ordered the talismanic shirt. Kamal thinks that Susan might be the key to finding out about the immortal, but he is too late. Mazar, dressed as an ordinary man, has already killed Susan, thinking that she could expose his identity. Elsewhere, Tekken uses Memo as bait to lure Hakan to the square. When Hakan tries to get to Memo, Tekken shoots four bullets at Hakan from a hiding place. To his surprise, the bullets do not kill Hakan. Zainab comes to Hakan's rescue as he is weak from the continuous shooting. Following the incident, Tekken reports to his boss, Mazar, who is not pleased with the information. Later, Hakan and Zainab are back at the secret hiding place at Kamal's pharmacy. Hakan asks Kamal about the photo he had retrieved from his dad's box. Kamal reveals that he was close friends with Neset and Murat. Turns out that it was Murat who came before Hakan as the protector. Hakan then deduces that Murat was his biological father who died fighting the immortals, and his godfather, Neset Korkmaz, had been hiding the truth for years to protect his adopted son. 
Hakan urges Kamal and Zeynep that they find the Immortal and kill him as soon as possible. However, nobody knows what the Immortal looks like without the talismanic ring to identify him. Meanwhile, since Mr. Erdem is impressed by Hakan's act of heroism, he's been insisting on his general coordinator Layla to hire Hakan as a security crew member. Elsewhere, Tekken reports to Mazar that he has some valuable information on Hakan. He shows a file containing the background history of Neset Korkmaz and suggests that he might be linked with Hakan and the shirt. In the next scene, Kamal teaches Hakan about his descendants and how they saved Istanbul and the world from plague and famine brought upon by the Immortals. He trains Hakan on controlling his mental state so that the talismanic shirt can protect him. Kamal places a hot piece of rock in Hakan's hand to build up his pain tolerance and teach him to fight. Sometime later, Kamal proposes to Hakan and Zeynep that they meet a senior loyal one who has the talismanic ring. As the immortal might go after the ring any minute now, they must ensure it is in safe hands. For the protector to find and kill an immortal, they need the shirt, which Hakan has, the ring, which the senior loyal one has, and also the dagger. Unfortunately for Hakan, multiple loyal ones have different pieces, and it seems their policy is not to speak to one another after each one is assigned to protect their talismanic item. While Hakan and Zeynep get ready to meet the senior loyal one, Kamal goes into the hospital to look into Susan's death. He asks for security footage of the hospital corridors from the staff there. In the next scene, Mazar is furious at Mr. Erdem for trying to hire a new security crew without his confirmation. Mr. Erdem consoles him that he won't be replaced by the new member, who is supposed to be Hakan, and tells him to celebrate their win of the Hagia Sophia contract instead. However, Mr. Erdem is oblivious to the fact that the victory came after Mazar killed Gokhan Gultekin. Meanwhile, Hakan and Zeynep arrive at an abandoned house following the address of the senior loyal one. When they enter the house, they come across a man pretending to be the senior loyal one's son. The man, who reveals his name to be Khan, has his mother locked up in a room monitored by CCTV. He tells Hakan and Zeynep that his mother was mentally ill after an incident seven years ago, and she hasn't spoken to anyone since. He then leaves the room to monitor Hakan, Zeynep, and his supposed mother in the next room. When the senior loyal one recognizes Hakan's talismanic symbol on his chest, she finally opens her mouth to reveal that the man is not her son, and that they're being tricked. The woman also hands Hakan the sacred ring, but the stone is missing. Upon hearing this, Khan comes to the room only to be shot dead by the senior loyal one. They then hurry to destroy the CCTV footage before a group of men for whom Khan was working for arrive at the place. Hakan and Zeynep escape the house while the senior loyal one promises to take care of the men. At Kavadan holding, Mr. Erdem is serious about hiring Hakan for the security position. Layla asks Hakan to come to their office and meet Mr. Erdem personally to talk about the job offer. When Hakan arrives at the holding, he formally meets Mazar. Mazar doesn't realize that Hakan is the one with the shirt, whom he's been chasing after for a couple of days now. In the meantime, Mazar has a phone call where he asks about Khan. It turns out that Mazar was the one who had sent his men to the senior loyal one's house. Upon realizing this, Hakan accepts the offer to work as a security member for Mr. Erdem, hoping he will get more information about Mazar's true identity. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.